Hi, this is Doug Brod at Nash Community College, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, two blocks in a multi-line style. The block that we're going to create is for a bifold door. We're going to make it dynamic so we can make it different sizes, and we're going to make it so that the panel thicknesses can vary. This is going to require the use of dimensional constraints, parametric constraints, rather than using the action parameters. But the, action, the parametric constraints won't work on things like wipeouts. So in order to get um, an opening that automatically is hidden by wipeouts, we'll make two separate blocks. The second block is going to be for the opening itself, and then we'll make a multi-line style for the wall, and then insert the blocks. That's a lot to do. Let's start with a units command and type A for architectural. That means I can use uh, feet and inches to indicate distances. Bet it, bifold, rectangle, 0, 0, 12, 1. This is one fourth of the opening that we're going to start with, which is uh, 48 inches wide. Rotate the rectangle. At from 0, 0 is the base point, negative 45. Auto constrain the rectangle to keep it rectangular. Uh, make sure that the parameters palette is on. Create a, I just double click there, create a parameter called width. In the expression, enter 48. And I create another parameter below that, PW for panel width. Set the expression to width divided by 4. Turn off show. Finally, thickness. Leave it 1 and leave it set to show. In the dimensional parameters, use the aligned option and go from the middle of the this edge of the door to the middle of that edge of the door. Make sure the red circle is in the middle and type PW. Next, do another align. Pick across the middle and pick anywhere in here and type THK. Convert each of those parameters and they should appear gray now. And notice they will not show when you insert this block. Mirror image, everything here about the end point, make sure object snap is running, turn ortho on, pick above that point, and do not erase the source objects. Notice that the dimensional parameters are copied along with them. If I had not converted them, they wouldn't be copied. Const auto constrain the two rectangles together. Mirror image everything here about the point 24, 0, and pick a point above that and choose do not. I'm I've hidden the parameters manager so we can see what's going on. Do a linear from this point. Notice the circle is on the rectangle. To circle on the rectangle, go up and type width. Test the block. Select it and change the width to 60. And change the thickness to 2. Then change the width to 36. Make sure everything's working right. Change the thickness to one and a half. And confirm in your mind that the block is flexing. Close the test block. Close the block editor. Save the changes. Do another block. Just start with Bedit to create the block. Call it opening. And first, we're going to draw a rectangle from 0, comma, negative 0.25 at 
48 comma 5. Zoom out. This is going to be the basis for a wipeout, which is going to be slightly larger than our opening. It's 5 inches high rather than 4 and a half inches, so that it'll overshoot the wall, making sure it's hiding, masking the wall correctly. But we haven't made it in a wipeout yet, so let's do a wipeout polyline, pick the polyline, and erase the polyline. Draw a line from 0, 0, with to 0, 4.5. Uh, mirror image that line about 24 comma 0 we're not going to delete the original one you set up an action parameter for the width from 0 comma 0 to 48 comma 0 and change the name to width. Right click on the action parameter and choose action selection set, new action, new selection set, and pick from right to left. You have to pick this basically the same rectangle twice. Make sure you enclose, enclose completely enclose the jam line and partially enclose the wipeout. Add another linear stretch from 0, 0, go straight up 4.5, and let's name that wall. Select that action parameter, new selection set, from right to left, choose the frame, and then crossing, choose the object. Let's test the block to make sure it, it changes or flexes. And we'll go three foot and let's go eight inches. Yes, it flexes. Close the block. Now we've got both our blocks made. And multi line style is next. Create a new style for two by four wall. And let's set that to negative 2.25 and then negative 1.75 and add 1.75 and add 2.25 now let's check the start and end so we'll have caps on the wall and let's see how it looks so there's how it looks it's like a two by four studs with half inch gypsum on each side we'll set that current and ML, let's change the justification to bottom and then 0, comma 0 over 8 foot. Let's set the opening. We'll insert the opening at, let's say, 24, comma 0. And let's set the frame to 2 and preview PRE. And you can see that it has created the opening and it's added the jams. The lines did the jams and the wipeout masks the line work. So if I erase the wipeout, I, I don't have to untrim the wall lines. Now let's insert the bifold on top of that at the same point, 24 comma 0. And preview. And we can see it works. Now let's say we wanted to make that three foot so we just say 36 and let's change the opening to 36 three foot let's change the panel thickness to one and a half and preview the results and you can see how flexible the bifold block is so i hope you enjoy using that make sure you save this drawing and then you can create a palette for your new door blocks